Hello, Media Mail Gang. It is Katie with Katie Reads, and welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today, we are finally visiting the Goodwill Bookstore. This bookstore has been here for a little over a year now, I want to say. Uh, it's kind of in a small town. I consider, I live in a small town, but I consider a small town one that doesn't even like have a Walmart or a Meyer or anything like that. But I wanted to visit it, see what it's all about. Everybody raves and raves about this bookstore and says that it's really great. Um, it looks like they put it inside of an old uh, family video location, um, which is really unique. I kind of like how they repurposed an existing building. They didn't just, you know, build brand new. But also tells me that it's probably a lease and a renting situation. So it gives me the idea, just based on my business background, that they're feeling this out. Um, this is a leased situation to feel it out, to see how successful it is and then to go from there. We will try it. I think there's a huge need for it, especially in my county and the surrounding counties. We don't have a ton of used bookstores in the area, so definitely a need for it. So we're gonna go in. I'm curious about their prices. At my local Goodwill, the book prices are a little crazy. Not necessarily coming here to thrift, it's more just to observe, to see what they have, um, and to see if it would be a good location to do bulk drop-offs. We'll see, I don't know. I don't know what to expect. Um, and I'm gonna take you guys along with me.
Um, these are gonna go into the office because they're gonna use them for the police that he has at the store. That you can see me okay um, I'm gonna go over real quick what I grabbed from the Goodwill bookstore okay so first they kind of did it out of order here but I grabbed this is a four volume set of 1972 four volume set 1972 um, car shop manual it is Ford and it goes over each book is like a different talks about uh, chassis engine this is a busy road electrical and the body um, and they're pretty beat up but both my brother-in-laws have well one of them has a mechanic background and then the other one is a diesel mechanic and they tell me all the time grab good car manuals especially the older ones if we are working on a project and we don't know what to do or we don't know what to grab we go to ebay and we buy them off of there and we will pay up for it because then we keep it it's a part of the shop we have that manual to reference to for future things so i'm always on the lookout for that at all times with different manuals then i also grabbed this 1979 car shop manual from ford um, and then it's the same kind of concept. Each volume goes over different things. So what can I get for this? This one, um, the prices were anywhere from 50 to $60. And so that's for the 1979. And then sold comps were about the same for the 1972. And then I did grab this for myself, um, ghost hunting in Michigan. It's just something fun. I, my other channel, I talk about cemeteries, I talk about um, supernatural, Halloween, that type of thing. That's just kind of my other YouTube channel that I have. If you guys are interested in following that, I'll put it in the description of this video. I'm really excited about this pickup. It's a pretty decent pickup. I spent $27 total um, and I'll be making anywhere from, you know, I guess 80 conservatively to 120, 150 if I can get a good price for these. Um, they are beat up, but that's fine uh, they'll still sell and um, especially having that full volume set if these were not the full volume set I probably wouldn't have grabbed them so this is kind of my review of the bookstore um, when you first walked in we saw another person um, they're actually bringing the books to their car right now another person scanning um, for Amazon they were using Scout IQ so shout out to Scout IQ these cars are loud y'all these cars are really loud the prices were a little steep and I expected that there was really nothing under three dollars there unless it was a mass market paperback which I really don't sell a lot of those anyways so uh, I'll keep that in mind it is a good sourcing opportunity especially when they have sales or price downs um, they're gonna have a book palooza in August so I'll be checking that out as well and that'll be interesting um, to see and uh, see what kind of deals I could get. This is a, another resource that I could kind of check out. Um, the problem is, is everybody knows about it. So again, every bookseller is different. I was able to find something with another bookseller in the building and I was still able to find profit. But in reality, I like going to the Goodwills that nobody else touches. 
and um, especially when it comes to the books. So for now, I'm pretty good when it comes to books, um, but yeah, it is a good resource, especially in the fall winter time when things start to slow down with uh, free book pickups. So, oh, and I forgot to record this. Isn't that cute? I love that. It's so cute. It's really, really cute. Um, I liked the setup of the store. It feels like a uh, Barnes and Noble vibe. It was very organized. It was very clean, very good condition books overall. Um, so very good bookstore and I definitely give compliments to Goodwill. They really nailed it with this one. All they're missing is a coffee shop and, and, a, and a pastry and you know, you could hang out here. You could really come here check out some books, read some books, hang out here. Overall, I like the setup of it and um, I hope it works out for them. I hope there's more to be built in the future. But anyway, guys, I am gonna go eat and then visit a cemetery and do some content there. So again, if you're interested in that stuff, check out the other channel. The link will be in the description of this video. Check out Scout IQ. I did do a little bit of searching for Amazon, but because I have so much right now, I wasn't really here to source. I was here more to just check it out and make a video for you guys. So do check out Scout IQ if you're interested in selling on Amazon. Um, and then check out the other links in the description of my video. I don't push my affiliate links enough and I'm trying to kind of work on that um, because it's all products that I believe in. I don't have an affiliate link with anything that I don't believe in. So yeah, any product that I'm advertising or talking about or telling you to check out, any platform I'm telling you to check out, it's because I actually use it. It's not just kind of because I wanna make money. Um, I do get a kickback though, but it's not, you know, it's not like I'm making $50 a head or anything like that. But anyway, I'm rambling. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.